Since the new kilowatt case came out, you may be wondering how to use this opportunity to make money. And we're gonna be taking a look at the top three ways to do so. But to start off, we're gonna take a look at what not to do. You probably already know what this is. The, please don't open the new kilowatt case. It's so expensive. It's over $10 on the Steam community market at the time of recording. And of course, don't forget that you have to spend the $2.50 on the key. And odds are, you're just gonna get back a blue that's worth about a dollar. Let's jump straight into method number one to make money from the kilowatt case if you haven't leveled up today yet if you play the game enough until you get 5,000 xp then you'll level up and you'll get to enjoy your weekly drops and there's a 20 percent chance that the kilowatt case will be one of them as you can see i did not get that lucky even though i spent the last hour trying to get the last little bit of xp to level up but that's all right hopefully you have better luck are you looking for cheap low float skins for trade-ups check out today's sponsor skins monkey it's the most convenient trading bot site where you don't have to overpay for low floats i found this 0.08 Elite build and this 0.09 M4 Tooth Fairy, and the tradable M4 was delivered to my inventory instantly. If you apply code TechSavvy, you get a 5% deposit bonus, and you also get a $5 trading bonus when you start trading. Don't worry if you don't have any skins, just head over to Freebies and you'll find three giveaways, all the way up to a Gut Knife Gamma Doppler. So use my link in the description to start finding deals on low float skins today. The next method is, of course, gonna be trade ups. You already knew this one was coming. As always, with the new case, the skins are extremely volatile, so make Make sure that you double check the prices of both the inputs and the outcomes right before doing the trade up otherwise the trade up could be unprofitable and you wouldn't even know it the first one we're going to be doing is going to be going for the factory new etch lord you're going to want to use seven minimal wear kilowatt mil specs and three dreams and nightmares factory news keep the average float below 0.07 this will give you a 14 percent chance at all the kilowatt skins all of them are profit the m4 is a profit of six dollars the sawed off is a profit of just under a dollar pretty simple trade up but let's check it out out. All right, trade up number one, we're going to do our best to make some money. We have a 14% chance at the best outcome, the M4 Etch Lord, and I believe that we're going to get it. Ya yeah, yeet. Oh, that's really bad. That's the fail outcome, 30%. That's really bad. The next trade up is going to be a souped up version of the first one. With this one, you're going to want to use four minimal wear kilowatt mil specs. They go for roughly 95 cents at the time of recording, and you can get them with around the floats of 0.1 or lower. Then you will want to get three factory new mil specs from the Italy collection. You need low floats on this, so go for the MP7 anodized navy because that has a low float cap. And finally, you're going to want to use three minimal wear mil specs from the safe house collection. This is a very unique trade up, and you have an almost 77% chance of making some profit. Of course, you really want to hit the Glock 18 or the M4A4, but the rest would still be nice. This trade-up is incredibly low risk. You only have around a 23% chance to miss, so hopefully we don't miss. But here we go. Show me anything from the kilowatt case. Ya yeah, yeet. Ooh, yes! Glock 18, I think that's the second best outcome. If I am not mistaken, and it is indeed factory new. With the next trade up, we're kicking things up a notch because we're going for the factory new Black Lotus. You're gonna want to use seven minimal wear restricteds from the kilowatt case and three factory new restricted fillers. This is gonna give you a 70% chance to profit. You'll make almost 50 bucks on the M4 Black Lotus, 30 bucks on the Jawbreaker, and 14 bucks on the Zeus. All right, boys, from the second one, we really really want to see the juicy 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 m4a1s black lotus and we are going to see it i already know it here we go 23 percent in three two one Oh, okay, okay, Jawbreaker is great. I will definitely take it as long as it's factory new, which it is. If you have the money and the time to get the floats, I'd actually recommend to do this in stat track. Same exact concept, same exact average float of 0.07. And if you do it in stat track, it becomes ridiculously good with the profitability of over 150%. Now, I know that you guys are gonna tell me that these floats are absolutely impossible, and normally they would be, but people are opening the case so frequently right now that there's a bunch of good floats getting listed on the market market for a market price every single hour. I did not record my reaction, but that doesn't matter because we still hit the stat track USB jawbreaker, making us almost $140 of profit. Now I am going to do a trade up for the coverts, but before we do that, I wanted to tell you guys another thing not to do, and that is don't buy the skins as play skins. Historically, every single time when a new case drops, all the skins start out extremely expensive and they fall off in value extremely quickly. Just check out the M4 Tamukao 
started off at $300, and although it went up and down a little bit for the first couple months, look at where it is right now. It's sitting at just over $60, so if you want to save money and you're patient, don't buy the skins yet. Wait until they drop in price. But now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the trade-up for the Coverts. For this one, you're going to want to use two field-tested classifieds from the Kilowatt case and eight factory new skins from any collection, pretty much. You just got to get the floats right. Make sure you get the average float below 0.07. If you don't do this, the op will come out minimum aware and you're going to be a very, very sad boy. This will cost you about 140 bucks. The attempt I did cost me just under 138 so sometimes you can get it even for a little cheaper. 20%. Let's do it. Here we go, man. First ever covert trade up, at least from me, for the new kilowatt coverts. That is the AK-47 Inheritance and the op chrome cannon. I am scared, but that's completely normal because we're doing it. 20%, 10% for each. Here we go. In three, two, one. Op chrome cannon. Yes, let's go. We got the inheritance. Oh my gosh, let's go. Factory new. Yes. That's a profit of like, what, 450 bucks probably? Let's go! That's crazy, bro. I cannot believe it. And the final method to make money from the new kilowatt case is gonna be pretty much day trading the new skins. Now, before I explain how to do this and what this is, massive warning. Although you could make a good amount of money with it, you could also lose a lot. So please be very, very careful when you do this and only attempt it if you absolutely know what you're doing. If we take a look at the price trend of the minimal wear M4 Edgelord, this is what we'll notice. The price trend of a new skin usually goes very high, then relatively low, and then it moves back up again. And you'll notice that if you bought here, for example, at like 13.5 and sold somewhere over here at like 19, you would have made a profit. This is true for most of the new skins, but obviously do your research before you buy anything. Here's the AK Inheritance field tested. This one started out at a crazy price and then very quickly dropped to around 170 bucks. And now they're selling for over $250. So once again, you could have made some profit here. There's no guarantee that this is gonna repeat. It really is risky, but there is some money to be made. Now, in order to make money from this, you need to time the market, which is actually impossible, but there is still something that you could do. If you just think about when different people in different countries go to sleep and wake up, you can make some predictions. For example, it's not ridiculous to believe that the most amount of money being put into the game through Steam, it's gonna be around evening time for people in the United States. So that's probably roughly 1 to 2 a.m. in Europe and roughly the morning around the Asia region, but obviously you're gonna have to do the math yourself on the time zones. And it's a little bit hard to say whether or not prices will go up or down. It entirely depends on whether people try to buy more off Steam or if they open more cases. If they buy more off Steam, prices will go up. If they open more cases, prices will go down. So see what you think is gonna happen and act upon that. There's no real formula for timing the market. That's my three favorite ways for making money from a new case drop, specifically the kilowatt case. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've made some stonks using these methods. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.